Good morning. I'm Suzanne Ridgway. This is Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to start by taking my crock pot liner and putting it right into my crock pot. There's my crock pot right here. I'll be out of the way for a few minutes. I have the water running because I'm just letting some cold water run in the package so I can easily separate my chicken thighs. I'm going to be doing a crock pot chicken and gravy today. I'm going to take my onion. And I'm going to peel it. Bowl. It's a beautiful day out today. It's going to push 70 later. Just a little more off the side there. Get all that peel off. Cut the onion in half. And I'm going to cut it long. Watch your fingers. I'm going to take the, the short end and do the same thing. Get a nice mince going. I'm going to give my hands a rinse because my eyes are going to burn a little bit. When handling potent onions, you can wipe your hands on your stainless faucet and it stops it. I'm not sure why or how, but it works every time. I'm putting the onion. I just minced into the crock pot. I'm going to take the other part of the onion here. And cut it long. Then cut the short end. Yesterday I did a pork loin in my crock pot and it came out fabulous. Even my kids liked it. We spent the evening outside at the school at our local playground. I'm gonna put some in the bowl here. The bowl that I have on the side here, which you'll see in a moment. I'm gonna uh, fold my cream soup. If you're just joining my videos, this is a clear cutting board from the Dollar Tree. I've had it for a couple months now. And it just sits right on your countertop. I love it. It works really well. I have a bowl and a can of a cream of mushroom. This one doesn't have a pop top, so I'm going to use my can opener. These cans are about 10.5 ounces. You don't dilute the cream soup. 
in the bowl. You're going to put in like this. I am, however, going to fill up the can and probably put about half a can into the crock pot, which is about a quarter of a cup. Just want to create a little well into the crock pot. I keep a garbage bowl in my sink for easy cleanup. Three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. I eyeball it. And about two teaspoons of garlic. Like that. I have some soup mix. I'm going to put about two teaspoons of that into the cream soup. That's about two teaspoons. That's what it looks like in the bowl so far. Move my scissors out of the side here. I'm going to take my wooden spoon and mix it well. Now, if you notice your uh, gravy that you're making is looking a little thin. After it's been in the crock pot for three to four hours, you can add a tablespoon of flour. And take my crock pot and move it so you can see me here with it. There we go. Just adjust you a little bit more. I'm going to add a bouillon cube to the crock pot for flavoring. I buy my chicken bouillon cubes by the bulk at our local BJ's, which is like a Costco's. I'm going to open my chicken. Don't want to use all of them in my bag here. I'm going to be away from the screen for a minute. water on it just a little more. I'm going to run water on it just a little more. Get my other wooden spoon so I can separate them. Nice big meaty thighs. Handling poultry, you should always wash your hands.
Got another nice big piece separated. I'm only gonna put two in the crock pot because I'm gonna cook my teenagers separately in the oven. She's not really a fan of the gravy. Giving my hands a quick rinse. I'm gonna take my gravy mix and put it right into the crock pot. I already added the water down to the bottom, about a quarter of a cup. Make sure you cover the thighs well with the gravy mixture. You can add potatoes into this if you want, but I'll be doing mine in the oven. Okay, that looks like it's covered pretty well. Fill my bowl up. I am going to add a can of mixed vegetables. Get my colander. I like these little ones for small cans. My bigger ones I use for my pasta or egg noodles and rice. Careful with the lid because it's a little sharp. Always rinse your canned vegetables because they've been sitting in that can for a while. Just kind of squeeze my spoon to get all the good stuff off. Step down. And now I'm going to take my phone so you can see. Excuse my hand. That's what it looks like. And that's what's for dinner tonight. Thank you for watching. Let us eat. Please, at this time, like the video if you like my recipe and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell on top for future notifications and have a great day. Bye! This is what it looks like in the crock pot in case I didn't get a really good angle showing it from the selfie point of view. I just wanted to jump back in and show you and as always please like and subscribe and tap the bell for future notifications for Let Us Eat and I'm Suzanne Ridgway and have a great day!